What's up guys? Chris Gethin here. So it is Christmas day, hence the Christmas jumper. And um, I've just left the gym, just hit a DTP leg workout. But what I did earlier is something that I've been battling with in regards to whether I wanna be transparent with this. Obviously um, I've done charity work in the past. I still do charity work. Uh, I don't always publicize it, of course. Um, I just do it because it makes me feel good. You know, it's the purpose of like, you take care of your household, you take care of the loved ones around you. And then if you have anything to give, whether it be service, whether it be finances or whatever, then you do that uh, to help others. So in saying that, um, I was battling with this and, and this is what I'll tell you it was now. Um, if I'm gonna do an act of goodwill, um, should, would I film it and put it out there for the right purposes or the wrong purposes? Because you're fighting with your ego. You don't wanna do something like this that seems egotistical. And it's very easy for people to convince themselves to do so. However, if you're doing it for the right reasons, for the greater good to give towards people, then is it wrong? to actually put that out there, to publicize it. So this is what I've, I've been thinking about. And I had this discussion with uh, Chris Cavallini earlier, the, the owner this and the CEO of Nutrition Solutions. And it was Jag Chima that really got me into, uh, you know, a little bit of charity work. Done it, I've done it with uh, Bipolar UK. Um, I've done it for the, you know, I've, I've sponsored a couple of children in, India for the past, actually that was before Jag got me into it I think, that was probably last seven, eight, eight years and then obviously um, the all girls orphanage uh, in India, I need to stop saying obviously and what I did today myself and Sunshine was give healthy food to the homeless on Christmas day, obviously there's you know, people down there at the shelter today there was you know, nobody seems like they were with their family at all they were out there in the cold uh, however they were looked after they were you know they, they they have some of them have shelter some of them don't um, but you know this is Christmas when everybody should be together and celebrating if not like I know that some people out there are loners I like to spend time by myself uh, but there's some people that don't have that option they don't have the opportunity but, you know, I've got a roof over my head. I'm, I have my health. I was brought up on the right principles, um, you know, hard work ethic, but some people are delivered a shorthand, I guess. So I've done this on a couple of occasions now. And um, a couple of years ago, we were, you know, giving food out to the military uh, veterans on, was that Christmas day or Thanksgiving? I can't remember. Um, but it's, it's a lot harder. I, I tried to join a couple of organizations this year. You either have to have the vac, well, you have to have the vaccine or, you know, they have to do lengthy background checks. You have to go through orientation, which is good. But I only tried to do this like in the last few weeks. And it, it was too late for me to seemingly participate. So I thought, you know what? Um, I'll just go down to the shelter and give these homeless people because the homeless homelessness in Boise has been growing at quite a rapid rate recently and I've noticed that so um, we went down and uh, gave them a load of good healthy meals I don't want to give them shit I don't want to give them burgers and fries and stuff like that I want to give them food that's healthy that's good for them so we did that gave them some real meals you know like steak pokey uh, was it pokey ball in there it was fresh uh, there was a uh, uh, donuts in there there was cook uh, healthy cookies healthy donuts high protein donuts um, some healthy pancakes and the pancakes taste amazing so I hope they really really enjoyed them um, but then I was battling with this I was like well do we capture this 
do I talk about this? Does it seem self-centered and egotistical for me to do that? You know, because I'm hoping that it is as rewarding for myself as it is for these people and not basically putting it out there from an egotistical standpoint. And, uh, you know, Chris had some good advice. He said, well, if you're doing it for the right reasons, you put it out there. Because if I put it out there, like why do I do a lot of the content in regards to training, nutrition, anti-aging, biohacking, supplementation? It is to help people, you know, invested in uh, caged muscle and, or caged now, uh, with my business partners to help people, help people have a healthier supplement, a healthier version of a performance-based supplement. Give some value or more value than what people are paying for. And it's the same with the gym franchise that I started with Jag. We've done that to help people, to give Indians jobs, you know, to, so people can be educated on why they should invest in themselves. And it's the same thing, I guess, we're putting out this video now, not to say, look at me, give me a fucking pat on the back. I don't care what you people think about me. I don't have the right to judge you, so I don't give you the right to judge me either. But I'm hoping putting out this video will make people think that you get a lot of satisfaction out of helping people, and it really does. Like, of course, I've still got some endorphins in me from having a workout earlier, but I feel really good that I can be in a position now where I can help people, even if it's only a minor front, you know, whether that be in service or whether that be in finances, whether that be in healthy food, whatever. Whatever you contribute, you can do, and I plan on doing a lot more of this, you know? So maybe think about that with yourself. If you can take care of yourself and your household, and you have the essentials that you need. Maybe you want to have a holiday every now and again. Maybe you'd like to buy your wife a present at Christmas, whatever it may be. But then if you can spare something, and it doesn't have to be for homeless, it could be for, you know, um, you know, help the heroes, the military. Uh, it, it could be, you know, a road to recovery, um, any sort of charity that you could think of that you could contribute to and maybe do something about that. Put that on your vision board. Put that as one of your goals. A lot of the goals that we put down on our vision board, or whether it be short-term goals, like I wanna lose 12 pounds, I wanna add an inch to my uh, bicep, I wanna purchase this house, there's a picture, I wanna go on this holiday, it's a picture of Thailand, whatever. But we never think of what we can give to others. You know, how can you put a smile on someone's face or relieve them of some sort of issue, pain that they're going through, you know, some, you know, whatever, loneliness, who knows? I don't know what these people are going through, and I'm not very good at reading people, to be honest with you, when it comes to things like this. Um, so do something. Do something that you feel yourself can maybe contribute uh, to others. So, um, you know, like I said, was toying with the idea of putting this video out, but I think it's for the right reasons, because hopefully, even if just one of you thinks to yourself, you know what, I could do a little bit more for others, whether it be, you know, someone within your neighborhood, whether it be for a charity, whether it be a charity overseas or whatever, see what you can do to contribute for the betterment of others. And hopefully this video will inspire somebody uh, maybe to do it, maybe to think about it, maybe to talk about it. That's what it's all about. So anyway, I uh, hope you like this video. I'm gonna be putting more videos up on YouTube uh, on a consistent basis. So if you wanna be alerted to that, then please uh, you know, like and obviously subscribe. And if you do have any questions, you can comment below. Thank you and Merry Christmas.